presentations are something that is absolutely uh, necessary as you grow in your career uh, in little bits like this I'll be able to share with you guys what you can do to make your presentations appealing and to give them a certain quality uh, without having to do anything complicated now check this out here uh, I want to show you guys how to make uh, your presentation have um, uh, the appearance of a seamless flow um, from slide to slide so that you kind of give your audience the impression that they are going through one image so to speak whereas you're actually moving from slide to slide now it's pretty simple here I'm going to um, quickly build a couple of slides that uh, I'm going to use to demonstrate this and I will apply the, the transition to all of them but the purpose of this particular lesson is to demonstrate how you can make it look seamless First of all, I always advise that you work with a blank canvas. So you go to the layout menu and select the, the, the blank one. Now we introduce um, the, the text in the first slide. Size that appropriately, give it colors and all of that. Then next I uh, introduce a shape. In this case, I'm using a circle just to give the slide some excitement, if you will. And then some additional text for description. And duplicate that slide and change its content. That's always the easiest way to go. And the objective here is to change the background color to look the same as the circle in the first slide. So I do that. And I change the text, colors, and the content. And for a little extra um, punch, I, I, I choose to I, um, add an icon just to make it a little more, you know, Exciting. I duplicate that one and change the text of course and a reposition. So here I want to demonstrate how to use simple shapes to create some, you know, to, just to create the appearance of, of oneness across multiple slides. In this case a circle. Yeah, and we position that and change the colors and and now the important thing here is to make sure that it you, we snap it to so that the center aligns with the edge of the of the slide and I'll, you'll see why later on. Yeah, and I duplicate that just to make it a little more like uh, you know, something interesting and not just a simple circle, you know. Yeah, of course we saved the file. I almost forgot to do that. So at this point, I apply the uh, transition by selecting all the slides and I apply the transition at once and uh, remember it is the push transition so once I apply the push transition to all of them I go to the effect options and select from right that gives us the desired uh, direction of movement so I duplicate the slide again and this time I take the circle and move it to the other side of the slide I change the text as usual, making sure to align it like I did in the previous slide to make sure that the center of the circle is aligned with the edge of the slide. I, am, I now I added these arrows just to for a little extra effect. Um, they make it look as if they continued from one slide into the next by making sure that the tip of the last one kind of flows into the next slide. In this case, it just looks. You don't see it in this slide. You get to see the tip in the next slide. So I duplicate that one. And mind you, each time you duplicate, it goes with the transition. So I don't need to apply the transition anymore. I should have actually done it at the beginning anyway. So, so I delete the circles, um, make a copy of the arrow to simulate that tip that was missing in the previous slide, you know, and then I delete the ones that I don't need. And of course I change the text reposition objects and um, align them and on this slide I introduce an image uh, the purpose is to make it look as if the image continues from one slide into the other so it actually gives you that real feeling of seamlessness and just like with the circle I have to make sure that it aligns with the center of the slide 
just to make things a little less complicated for you i add this line for decoration it's not necessarily important just you know design then i duplicate that slide and i move the image around to do the same thing as i did in the previous slide but this time on the left side of the slide and we reposition the text as well now I use the image as sort of a screen to allow me to change the background without it looking like there's a cut, there's a, an edge. So to, to, to continue with that seamless look and feel, I use the image to make that transition to the next background color. So I duplicate that slide, get rid of the image and uh, move things about. And that's the final slide. But I had a little idea so I decided to make a few changes after I had thought I was done and those changes kind of like uh, helped the slide look a little more conclusive since we started with a, a semicircle and uh, I decided to end with a semicircle and I think it just makes it look complete now that feeling of oneness between the previous slide and this one and then total feeling of oneness between the first slide through all of them and to the last slide like this concludes and closes the, the presentation so that feeling of seamlessness exists somewhere between the first semicircle and the last one now when we play it back and we move through each slide we can see that it actually has a seamless flow and that helps a great deal with carrying your audience along. Um, yeah, so that's our show. Um, if you found this useful, please let me know in the comments. Um, if you think that I missed the mark, please let me know as well. And do like uh, this post, follow or subscribe, and we will be having more of these kinds of conversation as time goes along. Have a beautiful day, everyone. And remember, never stop learning.